As a real estate wholesaler, you will spend 80% of your time doing lead generation and acquisitions. That includes finding sellers, talking to sellers, negotiating and making offers to sellers and executing contracts with sellers. Learn how to get in front of motivated sellers and you will crush it at wholesaling. And two of the most commonly used methods to generate seller leads is texting and cold calling. So in this video, I will show you how to effectively use text and cold calling and share valuable tips and best practices, as well as how to track and measure your results. This is a video you don't wanna miss because I'll also share with you all of the resources you need to dominate texting and cold calling right now this year. But first, if you don't know me, I'm Jerry Norton. I make millions of dollars a year wholesaling and flipping houses. And here on my YouTube channel, I show you how to do the same. So if you wanna be a flipping genius like me and live your dream life, subscribe to my channel and watch my videos. Let's start by putting text and cold calling in the proper context for wholesale real estate. Text and cold calling are outbound marketing methods where you get a list of potentially distressed property owners, get their phone numbers, and then send them a text or a phone call to see if they want to sell their unwanted property. And because text and cold calling are outbound methods where you're proactively reaching out to the sellers, naturally it's gonna be more time consuming and often will have a longer conversion cycle. In order to be successful, you will need to text and cold call hundreds and thousands of sellers every single week and month to find the ready and willing sellers. And because you're outreaching, initially many will not yet be ready to sell, so there will be a lot of follow-up over time until they are finally ready to sell. This is much different than inbound marketing, such as direct mail or pay-per-click, where the seller contacts you and is much more motivated and there's a much shorter timeline to sell. Now, the good news is you can offset the downsides of texting and cold calling by outsourcing the work and doing it in bulk or volume, which I'll cover, so keep watching. But before you can text or cold call anyone, you need to first acquire a list of distressed property owners. Thanks to advances in technology, distressed seller leads are now readily available and at your disposal right this very minute. Here's how it works. Data providers go through public records and they aggregate specific distressed seller information and then assimilate that information and provide it to you and me in a software application that is easy to understand and use. Traditionally, these data providers charge a monthly subscription and then you get a certain limited amount of data and then they charge additional fees to get more data, but that is now a thing of the past. There's a new kid on the block called PropWire that has completely revolutionized the data industry. PropWire has over 157 million records nationwide, including pre-foreclosure, probates, absentee owners, tired landlords, bank properties, vacant houses, and several other lead types. But what's mind blowing is PropWire lets you search and download as many leads as you want for free. That's right, no monthly subscription and no additional data upsells and it's super easy to use. You literally choose your market, choose your lead type, and search and download. PropWire even has a really cool feature called lead stacking, which is when you combine one or more lead types. So you could search for leads that are out of state owners and have high equity. Lead stacking gives you a list that is much more condensed, but also more distressed, which means the sellers have higher motivation to sell. Now I suggest you use lead stacking on PropWire when doing your first list to text or cold call. Let me show you. Let's say that you're in the Nashville, Tennessee market. I would search right here, Nashville, Tennessee. And for your first list under lead type, click must match all selected and then check vacant and also high equity. The reason I suggest lead stacking vacant with high equity is because it's much easier to wholesale a vacant house that nobody is living in and high equity ensures that the owner will sell at a discount. Then under property type, just check single family for now, since that's the easiest properties to wholesale. Then under owner type, for now just click individual because those are the easiest to get phone numbers. Now you'll notice right here, as of this recording, that PropWire found 580 leads that fit our filters in Nashville. And when you first start texting or cold calling, try to keep your list under 1,000. If you need to add another filter to your market, I suggest you add out of state owner to your lead stack. Now here's the thing, the data includes the owner's information, including his mailing address, but it does not give you his phone number. To get the phone number, you need a service called skip tracing. 
Now using a variety of different methods, a skip tracing provider finds a person's phone number, which is kind of important since you can't text or cold call someone without a phone number. So once you have a list of sellers, skip tracing is the next critical step. And what's really cool is PropWire has a built-in skip tracing service and it's really inexpensive. Right now, as of this recording, it costs 10 cents per successful skip, which is more affordable than most other services. And you only pay if it generates a number, which is significant considering about 25 to 30% of the time, skip tracing won't find a number. So let's say from our Nashville list of 580, we get 435 successful skips. That would only cost you about $43. To run your first skip trace campaign, just add funds to your PropWire account by clicking the wallet icon at the top of your screen, then add $43 to your wallet. Then when you click on your list of 580, click skip trace and download. It's that simple. So after acquiring a list and skip tracing it, now you're ready to text or cold call. But before we talk about that, I wanna make something very clear. There are some potential issues when texting or cold calling. Some states are cracking down on contacting people unsolicited, so it's your responsibility to ensure that you are in compliance with all applicable laws and regulations. Failure to comply can result in fines and legal issues. Now, most wholesalers use a service to send text in bulk, but text blasting has come under a lot of scrutiny. So again, be aware what you can and can't do in your state. For mass texting, some best practices include not sending too many texts or too frequently to the same list. Also make sure you provide an easy and clear way for recipients to opt out of receiving future text. Also ensure your text messages are relevant, valuable, and not misleading. For example, state the seller's name and your name and keep the text under 160 characters and rotate through about five to 10 different versions. And always be ready to have a conversation and always end with a question. Now here's a possible text script so that you get the idea. Hi Jim, this is Jerry Norton. I'm interested in purchasing 123 Main Street. Then ask one or two of the following questions. Are you the owner? Are you interested in selling? Are you looking to sell? Would you be interested in a cash offer? Want to sell your house fast for cash? Finally, keep in mind some mobile carriers have filters that automatically block or flag mass text messages as spam. Now this can result in a lower delivery rate and a lower response rate. Because of some of these challenges with mass texting, in my wholesale business, we started doing a strategy I learned from my friend James Branch, which is to send text messages manually one at a time using a virtual assistant or VA. Now, VA is an overseas remote worker that costs anywhere from four to $7 an hour. And if they can do phone sales and other higher level activities, maybe 10 to $12 an hour, but it's very inexpensive. So the VA will send a text that simply says the seller's name with a question mark. So Dave, now typically the seller will respond with who's this? Then the VA will respond, hi Dave, this is Jerry. I'm interested in purchasing 123 Main Street. Are you the owner or any of the other questions? And what we found is a competent VA can do about 100 texts an hour. That means if you do 500 a day, that's 15,000 texts in a month. And it might only cost you $500 in VA services. Now, if you're looking for a good VA service, I'll put a company I recommend in the description below for you. Now let's talk about some of the issues with cold calling. Now like texting, you also wanna ensure that you are in compliance with all of the laws and regulations. Be aware that there is a do not call or DNC registry and you'll need to scrub your list against the DNC list and make sure you don't call somebody on that registry. Go to do not call.gov to learn more. Now cold calling can be extremely effective, but you need to be consistent. Now I created a cold calling script that includes 20 powerful trust building phrases to use with sellers and I'll give it to you for free. I'll put the link in the description below. I highly recommend you get that and you use it when you start cold calling. And again, you could personally cold call your prop wire list, but if you can afford it, it's a much better use of time and resources to hire a VA to do it for you. Now, when the VA cold caller gets an interested seller, that warm lead gets passed to you or your sales rep to close the deal. Now let's talk about some key performance indicators or KPIs. Now KPIs are stats that let you measure your results. There are four important KPIs that you need to measure and track when doing text and cold calling and really any marketing for that matter. The numbers I'm gonna share are average industry stats as of this recording, so you'll need to make sure that you adjust and track things accordingly. 
The first KPI is the average cost per lead. For this KPI, I assume a lead is considered a seller who's ready and willing to sell. So using text and or cold calling, it costs on average about $25 to $30 per lead. So naturally, the next question should be, well, how many leads does it take to get a contract? And that is called the lead per contract, and the average is 30. So for every 30 leads, you should be able to convert one into a deal. That means if the cost per lead is $30 and it takes 30 leads to get a deal, your cost per contract would be $900. The next KPI is the average cash conversion cycle. In other words, from initial contact to closing on the deal, text and cold calling takes about 120 to 150 days. So if I spend $1 today, I won't get that dollar back for 120 to 150 days. Now, obviously, the faster you turn your money, the more you make over the course of the year. And finally, the fourth KPIs to pay attention to is the average profit per contract, and text and cold calling is around 10,000. One final tip about text and cold calling, and that is to make sure follow-up is a part of your marketing strategy. The National Sales Association claims that 80% of sales are made between the fifth and 12th follow-up. To really crush it with text and cold calling, remember, the money is in the follow-up. I recommend you have a dedicated VA who routinely follows up on the 29 out of 30 leads that didn't yet convert. We've seen sellers convert six months, 12 months, even 18 months later, simply because we followed up that entire time until they were finally ready. Now finally, if you really wanna explode your wholesale business, I want you to watch a live presentation where I shared what the top wholesalers in the industry are doing. I'm talking about a million dollars a month in assignments. So watch that now, and if you haven't yet, be sure to subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you on the next video.